Hey guys, it's your girl Tamika, your online hair care teacher, and I'm finally, finally back with a hair video. If you are looking for a way to make your hair softer, more manageable, loosen the curl, and finally, finally, finally do something about those single strand knots, I'm going to show you a way to do it using the amino acid treatments. So stay tuned because amino acids are a great way to strengthen the hair, which prevents damage and breakage, make it more manageable, help prevent those pesky single strand knots and keep your hair from reverting so quickly when you get it straightened. So these are the products that I'm gonna be using. I will list them below so you can see exactly what they are. And I'm gonna start off by doing a clarifying shampoo on my hair to get rid of all the oils and dirts and everything that's on there. So I can start off with a clean base and that will allow the product to be able to absorb nicely into my hair. So of course, before I shampoo, I'm going to detangle all this tangle tangled up hair it's been a while since I combed it so it's best to go on ahead and thoroughly detangle it so I won't have to worry about any problems later on down the line so I'm not going to show you the whole shampoo process but I did clarify my hair as I said before and I lightly conditioned it and rinsed the conditioner out and this is the conditioner that I used and this is how my hair looked after I shampoo I'll list that conditioner below as well So now I'm going to carefully part my hair into four sections because that's how I'm going to be working, uh, putting the amino acid treatment onto my hair. It's best to work in sections when you're doing it. It just makes it so much easier. There are my four sections. It's gonna make it so easy to apply the treatment. And I'm going to be putting the treatment into a bowl. There's a treatment and I'll, I'll put it below so you can see exactly um, what it is, but I'm going to be um, squirting the treatment into a bowl and using a color brush to apply it. And here I am, I'm just detangling my hair one more time to make it easier to apply the treatment onto my hair. Look at that shrinkage. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? <laughs> My hair literally shrinks up to like a third or a quarter once it's dry of my actual hair length. So can you see how light and foamy the treatment is? And I probably put maybe about 20 pumps in there just to start off. And there's the color brush I'm going to use to apply it. It makes it so much easier to do it this way. So I'm roughly taking about medium sized sections and just kind of painting the product on. Um, getting it on there from root to tip being sure to apply it as evenly as I can and even getting like my little kinky buds too because they need a little love. <laughs> they need a little manageability. <laughs> and I'm gonna um, comb through with a fine tooth comb to distribute the product evenly. Now I found that doing that was kind of like a nuisance for me. So later on in the video, you'll see me stop doing that and I'll start smoothing it with my hands because I don't like fine tooth combs. So I'm going to take another section and go on ahead and apply more. I would say I probably use maybe for my hair about two ounces total of the product. I'm just making sure to get it on the ends really well too. I do not like that fine tooth comb. I don't know why I was using that. Ugh. So y'all really don't need to see me like go through this, you know, section by section, but I'll go on ahead and show you just a little bit more so you can see the process. It's a tedious process and it takes a while to do it. I say it, it probably took me up to 10 minutes, about 10 minutes per section to do it just to make sure that everything was evenly coated. You don't want to over apply the product because if you do, then it'll wind up really super sticky. So just be mindful of that. So just kind of like apply it enough but not too much oh and one thing i forgot to mention is that i started applying the treatment on just a damp hair so it doesn't have to be blow dried or air dried or anything like that the hair can be damp before you apply the treatment and you really need to stop using that rat tail comb on your head child i done told you i don't know what i was thinking about so you see me just smoothing it in to distribute it. I'll let you guys 
um, watch me apply the amino acid treatment while I tell you a few things about it. So amino acid treatments are a great alternative to keratin treatments, which use the chemicals, formaldehyde, um, those things. You have to wear the mask, gloves, all that stuff, um, and relaxers. They are the foundation for essential proteins that your hair needs. Amino acid treatments absorb deep into the hair shaft to restore, replenish, and repair worn and damaged hair. So if you are suffering with extremely dry hair and have issues with length retention, amino acid treatments may be a great way to, to help get you past your hair issues. They make the hair soft, stronger, more manageable than ever and help with frizz and reversion. So if you're a straight natural, hey. So here are some frequently asked questions answered about amino acids. So you don't have to wear your hair straight to get a treatment, nor do you have to straighten your hair to get the benefits from the treatment. So if you're a curly girl, you can just apply the treatment to your hair without straightening it. It is said that the treatment should be done every six to eight weeks, but I beg to differ on that because for those of you who know me, I believe in doing things on an as needed basis. So pay attention to your hair and it will tell you when it's ready for another application. Just like stretching and relaxer longer, this can be done with an amino acid treatment as well um, without the worry of something adverse happening to your hair. So you're not gonna have to worry about your hair falling out or breaking off or anything if you decide to stretch the amino acid treatments. If you decide not to get it done, it will simply just wear off. If you continue to get the treatment, please be aware that your hair may get straighter with each treatment. So for some that may be a plus, but others may just be looking for manageability. So just be aware of that. So um, if you don't want your hair to like straighten, um, more and more for, with every treatment, I would suggest you stretching it longer, like maybe only get it done like twice a year. So I finally made it to the top and very last section of my hair. I'm going to continue applying it and smoothing uh, the treatment through to make sure all of my strands are evenly covered. Um, make sure I don't over apply the treatment because I don't want my hair sticky or feeling heavy once the treatment is washed out. Make sure to get the ends very, very well and I'm just gonna twist it up and put it away. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna uh, clip that up and I'm going to apply a plastic cap over my head and then I'm gonna go sit underneath the dryer for about 15 minutes to let the uh, treatment absorb deep into the hair shaft. So this is one step that you do have to do to get the treatment to work properly. So now I'm back from underneath the dryer, 15 minutes underneath the dryer. And one thing I noticed immediately is that my hair softened up so much with the treatment on just from sitting under the dryer. And you can see how it's kind of lengthened a little bit and it's softer. And it's even more manageable right now with just the treatment um, being placed on and me sitting under the dryer for 15 minutes. So that's a plus plus. So if you were a curly person, you would just stop right there and do your regular shampoo and keep it moving. But because I like wearing my hair straight, I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it and then I'm going to uh, flat iron my hair as well to get it um, straight and see how it feels with the treatment on. And you saw there, I used my favorite blow dryer, which is the Rusk Beat Freak, and I'll link it below so you can I know exactly what it is. And so I'm not gonna like make you sit through an entire blow drying section, but I, session, but I do want you know to show you kind of how I do it. So this is my hair. You know, when it, it's probably like mostly dry, but I'm just going over it again to make sure that's completely dry because I want to make sure that there are no wet spots. So when I do flat iron my hair, I'm not going to burn myself or singe my hair. But yeah, my hair already feels different at this point. Um, it just feels like it has a little bit of weight to it. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know, but my hair is super coarse and really super fluffy and it shrinks up a lot and it's very fine. So to have any type of weight on my hair is like a plus. I love that. And it just feels really good and soft at this point. And you could not even uh, flat iron if you didn't want to. You just go with the blowout look if you want to do that. So I'm gonna be using the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium One Inch Flat Iron. And I'll link that below as well so you guys can see what it is. I have a flat iron on 410. I never turn the flat iron up to 450. I just think it's too hot. I don't care who tells me what. 410 or less for my hair and because I'm doing the amino acid treatment I'm doing the 410 but normally I would only do about 375 on my hair but I'm just making um, just one pass you don't have to make several passes for this treatment it's not necessary just one pass is enough 
and I'm just kind of like uh, flat ironing my hair, getting it smooth, you know, like finalizing the last step for the treatment. So I'm just going to continue to go through, um, not even taking like small sections, just kind of like medium sections and flat ironing my hair. If your hair is thicker and you want to do this treatment, of course, you're going to have to take smaller sections. But because my hair is fine and I don't have a lot of density to my hair, me taking a medium section is not going to hurt. So flat ironing the hair is kind of like, in a sense, I guess, sealing in the treatment. But I, I really don't think that you have to flat iron your hair to get the benefits of it. Because my hair, after I um, came from this to dryer, it felt so soft and manageable. And I just wanted to show you, excuse me, me flat ironing from uh, this angle because first of all, you know, <laughs> it's a good angle for me <laughs> to be able to show you exactly how it's done. <laughs> excuse me, guys. And also for you to see um, like the shine on my hair and how silky straight the hair is getting. Now my hair being coarse, it's not gonna get so silky. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I got a little, you know, kink a kink, but it does, you know, my hair for what it is. Cause I'm 4A4, 4A4C. And so it does get, you know, nice and silky and lovely. And you can see the weight that, that it has on it. And this is something I never get just by doing like a regular um, silk press. I always have to have some type of protein in my hair to get that type of weight because my hair is so fluffy. But I just want to show you, you know, the results of the hair, of the amino acid treatment on my hair. And it's just very um, soft. It's very silky. It's very manageable. Um, yeah. So a lot of issues that you're having with your hair before the amino acid treatments and you probably won't have them if you're putting them on your hair. And so I got to get my edges straight. I'm not really a big fan of like super polished edges, but I'm going to go ahead and straighten my edges, you know. But once they puff up, they puff up. That's it. I don't be fooling with them too hot. Yeah, and so I'm using that on probably high because those things don't get very hot. It's a plug-in um, straightening comb. I'll link that below too so you guys can see exactly what that product is. But just straightening the edges and yeah. One thing I can say is that um, I'm not going to be doing this treatment maybe but three times a year. But I just want that manageability because I find myself wearing protective styles more than anything. But it's a, it's a great way to um, get your hair manageable in between protective styles. Okay, so because I'm curious, I want to see how much my curl pattern has loosened. I'm going to go on ahead and shampoo and condition and deep condition my hair. So the, these are products I'm using. I'll link them below. And this is my hair with the um, conditioner on after I shampooed and conditioned my hair. I just wanted to show you uh, how it looked after the treatment. And you see how elongated my hair is, like very elongated. That's crazy how the treatment elongates your hair. Very crazy. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe it myself. Like I actually have some hang time. I'm tripped out. Okay, so I rinsed off the conditioner and still look at all the hang time on my hair. This is crazy. And one thing I will say is because my hair is fine, if I did this treatment every six to eight weeks, my hair would wind up being straight. And I do not want straight hair because I need the fullness and the volume, you know. But I, I did want the manageability. I did want to prevent uh, breakage. I did want to prevent the single strand knots that plague me. And this treatment is like the best thing to help with all of those issues. So if you're having any of those issues, then by all means, amino acid treatments is the way to go. Now, if you decide to get it done in a salon, they're going to run you roughly, depending on the salon, maybe between $150 to $300. It just depends. But they're really, really great for the hair. I would suggest them for anybody who is like, I don't know what else to do with my hair. The amino acid treatments really give you like the manageability, strength, and all the things you need to you know, help get you past that plateau. And here I'm just sitting up here playing with my hair because I can't believe how elongated it is. I'm really tripped out. I feel like I kind of got a jerry curl, you know what I'm saying? And the shrinkage, boy, the shrinkage is not gone, but it's like decreased tremendously. So I'm really super excited about that. So 
So I know y'all want to sit here and like watch me play with my hair forever and ever. So I'm just going to like stop right there. <laughs> but I can put it into a ponytail without having to brush it. Oh my God. So manageable. Just imagine a little gel. I can have my curls popping back there. How you doing? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go on ahead and restraight my hair because I want to wear it straight. So I'll show y'all that next. Okay, so now it's time to straighten my hair. And I'm using Paul Mitchell Super Skinny. I'll link, I'll link it below. And I'm just going to, you know, I have four sections. I'm going to apply a pump to every section and just kind of smooth it through. Um, you guys have seen plenty of my flat iron videos. Um, if you haven't, I'll go on ahead and link some flat iron videos to this, vi to this video so you guys can see how I, you know, do a flat iron. Well, I say flat iron press, but silk press. Um, and I do it on my daughter all the time. I do it on me. So I'll show you one or two of those videos. And so I'm just kind of like taking the uh, product and evenly distributing it through my hair. And... Right now, I'm really tired because I've done a lot of stuff on my hair. So you see me twisting my hair up like this. I'm going to go take me a break because I'm exhausted and I need to go eat some lunch. So, yeah. So I'm going to go on ahead and tie that up. And then when I come back, I'm going to show you guys the finished product because you don't need to see me blow dry my hair and all that stuff. Because the video is already like 17 plus minutes. So I'll um, come back and show you guys exactly what the finished results are. And then we can go from there. Finally finished with this whole treatment process, but look at how nice and shiny my hair looks. <sighs> but it's so flat, oh my gosh. <laughs> it did make it super manageable. And I might even actually be able to air dry my hair now. The only thing I have left is to trim my ends, trim off the single strand knots that I have on the ends and all that, and keep it moving.